Welcome back, Curl Squad. It's your girl, Curly Carter, coming back to you with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this very cute hairstyle using only clip-ins. No sewing, no half wigs, no clip-ins. Clip. Clip-ins. Um, but before we hop into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach at least a thousand subscribers at least at least i'm giving myself like three months i'm just saying but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's hop into this video so i really want to get into how easy it is to install this hair and to clip it in like literally it's going to take me about 10 minutes to for the finished product but i just want to go over a little bit of details with the hair so i bought this hair from amazon this is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack and here's what the clips look like and it's done very beautifully and it's very secure and easy to unclip and clip back um, but this is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. I have worn these before, and this is what the hair looks like after I've, like, fluffed it out a little bit just to give myself some more volume. Um, but, yeah, in each pack, you get four pieces of the three clips, and you get two pieces of the four clips, and you get five pieces not five pieces two pieces of the five clips and i bought two packs they had like a special it was like either buy one pack or get two packs and this is a 14 inch okay so i already kind of pre-prepped my hair all i did was i did four braids just straight back and i'm gonna show you how i tuck my ends Cause your girl hang time is getting kind of long. But um, I'm gonna show you how I tuck my ends and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the top part. So all I did was split my hair in half, as you can see. And so I have this top part and then I have four braids in the back. So with my four braids, I like to crochet my hair into my hair. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So all I do is take, go right under my hair, attach the end, pull it down, pull it around, and probably do it until I don't have any more hair. And that's all I'm gonna do. All right, and that is what the back is looking like. So, I'm going to go ahead and tackle my base for the top part because I want like two buns. So, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this part first and then I'll start clipping in the hair. As I'm sure most of you, not most of you know, but a lot of people know that I have hurt my knee. So I literally been in the house not doing anything. But um, do I want a straight? Now, I, I like to do my parts sideways. Like I like this dimension to it. Make sure that I clean it up. Get my mirror. Let me clean it up. Let me clean it up. Okay. That is good enough. So let me take this piece. And I'll leave links to the hair and everything that I use 
them down in the description box below. Uh, so it's easy for you guys to go and purchase. Okay. Just some jam. And all I'm gonna do is take my brush to smooth everything out, put the gel all through my hair. Y'all see that? Mm -mm. And once I get to this part, I normally just make my ponytail a little tighter, split my hair into two pieces, and just do like a really loose, nothing serious, two strand twist all the way down. And then I just take it and wrap it around itself now sometimes i need a rubber band other times oh it decided to stay today other times i really don't need a, another rubber band let's just do the other side And I'm definitely gonna like touch up my edges and do a little swoops at the end. I just wanna get the base down so I could clip the hair in. Now the trick to this is trying to get the ponytail on this side to look like the ponytail on this side. Like you don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. You don't want it too far in the back, you don't want it too far in the front. And these ponytails are not tight at all. I can't stand the tight ponytail. I'm just going to twist. And then twist it around itself. Now we have two little. <laughs> All right, we're done with this. Now, moving on to the fun part, which is clipping the hair in. So, normally I take a long piece for the back, the very back, and then I do a long piece right across the front. 
Um, if you plan on just using clippings solely, I would suggest you get two packs of the 14 inch and I also think they have a 16 inch. But if not, like say if you're doing a twist out on your own hair, but you just want extra volume, I would just say get just one pack of 14 inch or if your hair is longer, get the 16 inch and it will just add more volume and puff and liveliness and black girl magic into your hair. All right, so let's get this started. So I'm starting off with the clip that has five. And all I'm going to do is unclip them. I normally go through, unclip all the clips, loosen them up, make sure it's nice and fluffed out how I like it. If there's any like really super tight curls, I normally just run my fingers through it. Do not take a comb to it because it really don't need it. But I just like to run my fingers through it. And then I'm going to show you how I clip it. So all I do is measure up where I want it to go. Stick the clips in and clip it down. Stick the clip in, clip it down, and then I'll go in and do the ones in the middle. And that's one. Looking cuter already. <laughs> Um, and then I just go in, this is a four clip, and I'm going to just fill in the rest of my hair. I'm going to just fill it in. And it's no, like, science to this. You really just go ahead and just clip the hair in. And just make sure you just cover all of your hair. Um... You don't have to braid your hair. I just like braiding mine down. But you really don't have to braid it. Um, you could just do like a, a low ponytail or something like that. But no, you don't have to. You don't have to braid your hair up. Hope I got that on there. I'm put one of these in the middle. Now this is a three one. I just want to make sure that my hair back here, I like it to be like kind of really full. But getting a two-pack will definitely allow for your hair to be really full. Here's another four. So how was y'all New Year's? I did absolutely, no, I'm not going to say I did absolutely nothing. I actually really enjoyed my New Year's coming in. I had my family, my son, my mother, my father. Um, yeah, my husband, my brother actually stopped past. That was a, a surprise, but I'm grateful for him to stop past. And we brought in a New Year's prayer. Because we need prayer. Yes, we do. All right. So now that is done. I'm going to take the other five one, of course, unclip it. And what you want to do with this one so you don't see your tracks, you want to put this in backwards and then flip the hair 
over. So you'll see that instead of this. So I'm just gonna find where my part is at. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm clipping this one in backwards. And then flipping the hair back. And voila. Now for the ponytails, super easy. All you need is one of the, I use one of the three, the three clip uh, strands and you're gonna need like a bobby pin or two, depending on how it goes. So all you wanna do is clip this one in, wrap it around your little ponytail or your big ponytail and then clip the end in. And then all I do, now that this is in, all I do is do like I did my natural hair. I do like a really, really loose twist and then I just wrap it around it. Take a bobby pin. Oh, oh, oh and secure the ends, and voila. Ain't that easy? That is too easy. I think anybody could do this hairstyle. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Take the clip, clip it in, wrap it around, clip in this other one. Take it out, do a really loose twist, and then just wrap it around. Take a bobby pin and secure it. Now, we can't just stop there. Y'all know we gotta do the edges. I'm not even really an edge person, but I do know that when I do a little something to my edges, it just elevates the hairstyle. So I'm just taking some of this edge boost. I don't even know what scent this is. Oh, this is apple. Kind of smell like apple too. And I just take it on my edges. Now y'all gotta work with me because uh, your girl really don't be doing edges like that. And I'm gonna take some down here. And just scoop that right on up into there. Y'all see that? I'm gonna do the same with this side. And there you have it. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back. <laughs> I 
And that's it. I literally did this hairstyle in 20 minutes. Normally it takes me about an hour, if not more, to do my hair. And thanks to clippings, I don't need that hour anymore. If you haven't done so, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you have any hairstyles you want me to try out or products you want me to try out or different, if you want to see different hairstyles with these clippings, I got you. Just let me know. Just let me know so I, I can deliver. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm out.